here we are. G'day guys. Day four here, the Sea League Magnetic Island Race Day. Only a couple of days left of competition. Conditions for today. More importantly, they're saying that 10 to 15 knot mark, increasing to 15 to 20 this afternoon. So should make for some interesting racing. A little bit slow on the docks this morning, and I know why, because it was lay day yesterday and all the action was down at Picnic Bay. But now it's time to hear from our race day sponsor. It's live in Queensland. G'day, Sterling Hinchliffe here. It's sailing season in the north and terrific to see the place Townsville calls Maggie front and centre of this year's Sealick Magnetic Island Race Week. Regrettably, I can't be there to witness this unique racing experience in the blue waters of Cleveland Bay. The Palaszczuk government supports Sealick's Magnetic Island Race Week through Tourism and Events Queensland. We know Race Week on Cleveland Bay brings visitors to Townsville. They support local tourism operators and the Palaszczuk government's economic recovery plan for the north. Magnetic Island Race Week is a sailing experience you will never forget. And I hope while you're in this magical part of Queensland, you'll take time out to discover why we call this place paradise. Stay safe and enjoy. Have a look at these. Well done to Deb and the team from Musto. These are a must have, but the question is, what does it take to be good between the sheets? I've got nothing to, I've got nothing to say. Got, my wife might be watching this. <laughs> Well, my wife says it's okay to be short and sweet. <laughs> that sounds good to me. <laughs> then what, is it, what does it take to be good between the sheets? Oh, you try and get somebody else in there with you. Ronnie, we've had the answer from the lovely wife. We want to know, when it comes to tacking, what does it take to be good between the sheets? We've had that answer. We want yours, Hubby's answer. Um, basically, it's a complete and utter and total knowledge of exactly what my wife wants. <laughs> Winner! I, I, think, I think you better ask my wife that one. <laughs> But she, but she, she's not here. <laughs> Ask his boyfriend. We're just, we're just friends. What does it take, apart from eating lovely muesli, what does it take to be good between the sheets? Tacking. Oh, oh well. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yes, they do. So the mail is, you blokes are all good at tacking. Is that true? Oh, reasonably well, yes. We, we got, we've got our um, winch grinder here. Oh. Dan and he, he and he does a great job. Funny you mentioned grinding. Does it? What does it take to be good between the sheets? <laughs> no, that's a wet spot. Sorry. <laughs> Did he say wet spot? It's always good to be between the sheets. It doesn't matter what you'll be doing. As long as you're between the sheets, you're right. So, Jess, today's all about tacking, and there's a motto getting around, and I want your word on tacking first. Easy to do? Sure. Yeah, sure, yeah. And it says being good between the sheets enables... What, what does it take to be good between the sheets? Scotty, don't do this to me. Not on the spot. <laughs> There's a whisper getting around that you need to be good between the sheets. What does that mean to you? What does it take to be good between the sheets? Winch hard. Don't let it get jammed. Oh, I love it. Don't let it get jammed. There's one. Practice and experience. Here we go. Don't let it get jammed. Practice and experience. Here we go, look, Femme Fatale right behind us here. We're out on Nelly Bay awaiting the first start. Boats now jostling for the best position. This is gonna be a great day of racing. Let's chase the fleet.